what up y'all so <laughs> the camera let's see how long i can leave my hair down without putting it up in a ponytail because clearly i'm ready to put it up in a ponytail um so disclaimer if y'all hear any of my loud neighbors y'all know we back in the ghetto okay we back in the ghetto the, the jacket say jamaica but we back in houston that's just it'd it be like that so <laughs> y'all already know i'm behind on the reaction videos <laughs> like i'm so behind and it's it's time the time is here. The time is here. I'm going to give y'all a lot of vlogs. Hope y'all watch the Jamaica vlog. Y'all better have watched the Jamaica vlog. Because let me tell you, I worked hard on that. Hmm? I worked hard on that. So y'all better have watched that. And while you watch it, you better have like, comment, and subscribed. Okay. But the disrespect. <laughs> but so we back with some more Karen videos. Um, I got two for y'all. I got two for y'all. And the second one I feel is extre extremely relevant, seeing as though I just came back from Jamaica from an airport. And so the second one is definitely, definitely gonna, gonna be something serious. But this first one, though, this shit, <laughs> y'all know I be having to try not to laugh. <laughs> but it be so funny. And it's Vlogmas, and so if y'all see me in this same outfit, in the same chair, in the same position, don't ask no questions. Okay, we just, we getting it done. We getting it, we getting her done. Because we got a 24 days, Vlogmas, we doing this thing, I'm committed, let's go. So let's get into this first video, and this one comes from the Crazy Karens 2 Instagram. So they have two Instagrams, I never knew that. They have Crazy Karens, and then they have Crazy Karens number 2. So that's where this one is coming from. So we gonna roll this beautiful footage, shall we? No, I'm make sure I'm recording because y'all know I'll be fucking up, especially when I'm tired. Okay. the shit <laughs> I, I take my shoes off <laughs> that look, listen listen that blue that blue man that man in that blue that blue hoodie came in and knocked the shit out of him like first you get aggressive with the waitress then you get aggressive with the old man. The old man ain't want no trouble. He, he just felt like he needed to say something, which he had every right to. But then you about to push the old man. And the dude in the blue hoodie just comes through everybody and knocks the shit out of his And so, <laughs> somebody in the comments, they put, uh, he pushed the older dude. He, he got into it with the waitress. But as soon as he get the sonic rings knocked out, he cried and fall. Not the Sonic rings. Like, if you play Sonic, you know what the Sonic rings are. <laughs> Bing! <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm not. This should be funny. Like, I, I miss doing these. I gotta I gotta get back with the Karen videos. Cause this and these are anti-masker videos. These are anti-mask videos because it's like they Karen's, but it's more so like an anti-mask thing now. I don't know what it is with people in fucking masks. I, I would never understand that shit. Let me tell you, somebody who just went to Jamaica, they don't play about that bullshit. <laughs> like you better put that fucking mask on. You better have your mask on. You can't order a drink without a mask on and they have the partitions and everything they literally like if you watch the vlog there's a part in one of the videos 
where uh, my friend Asher, we were going up to the bar at the beach, and she had to turn around because she didn't have a mask on, and she said, fucking mask. <laughs> they don't play that bullshit. Put that mask on, and you ain't getting no fucking drink. And it got to be pulled all the way up. You better not have that bitch right here. You can't have it right here. And we spraying you, they be spraying you down with hand sanitizer. That shit don't fly out there. So I, I don't, the anti-mask shit, I, I'm so sick of it. Just put the shit on. Like, why we got to make a big deal about it? Like, in some places, it's not required. Okay, cool. But if the people ask you to put it on, put it on or don't go in there. They have every right to make the rules of their establishment. Again, as I said in the previous video, no shoes, no shirt, no service. So add no mask to that. I don't know why people make such a big fucking deal about this shit. Which brings me to my next video. This dude got issues. I thought I was bad. But this shit, this shit is fucking crazy. So we're going to roll that video. people like it's some places you just can't cut the fuck and this is hard for me because i'm i'm like i tell some shit up but this is just you just took it too far over a again over a fucking mask it's the airport you gotta wear the goddamn mask did you have to throw that baby ass temper tantrum like you literally a toddler for that like why would you tear up the fucking place because they told you to put a mask on so clearly you don't travel because if you did, you know that you have to wear a mask. Like, it's a pandemic outside still with a new fucking strain. Why you can't just put the mask on and, and abide by the rules? No, instead you want to tear up the fucking airport. But see, everybody's in the video like, where's airport security? Okay, so check it. We had to go through customs to get back. And them goddamn customs officers... They scary. <laughs> like, them ain't no regular TSA agents. Them is motherfucking customs officers. And they real big scary. And y'all know TSA don't play them games. They gonna make you take off your belt, shoes, bracelets, watches, phones, damn near your drawers to get through security. But if you realize i know when i've been to the airport there's not security just walking around most of the security is in the security section of the airport that's where the tsa agents are that's where most of the security guards are there's not security guards walking around the airport now that's just in my experience if they are they hidden in regular clothing which is why shit like this is able to happen how many videos have y'all seen of people acting up in airports and ain't nobody do shit that's why shit like this is able to happen because there's no security in the vicinity to stop shit like this from happening. So you leave it to these workers of these airline companies to do shit like this and defend themselves. That couldn't have been me. That could that couldn't have been me because it's clearly dude crazy. He he I, he out of there. He picked up the goddamn thing like he was gonna hit. Did you see the lady? Baby, let me tell you something. I would have picked up the other one and fucking swoop. <laughs> I had to hit that nigga with the one. 
<laughs> because what you like, my life is in danger at this point. Anytime I feel like my life is being threatened, I turn into a whole nother person. At this point, my life is in danger. You done picked up this metal goddamn thing like you finna hit me. You done got up in my face. You done got up in my coworker's face. It's three or four of y'all and one of him. We finna jump this nigga. We can lose our jobs later. We finna jump this nigga right now. Let's go. I'm finna pick up everything in the vicinity and throw it at this man. Because at this point, you are a threat to me, my coworkers, and everybody around us. You not finna get one up on me, pimp. You not finna get one up on me. I'm not finna play with you because I'm just as crazy as you are. There's a thing called fight or flight. I'm never flighting unless there's guns involved and I got a real fear of losing my fucking life and I ain't got my weapon on me. That's different. You picking up shit and throwing shit. We in the airport, so I know you ain't got no weapons because you had to come through security to get here. You picking up shit, I'm going to pick up shit too. We just going to be in this bitch fighting because what you're not going to do is come over here and threaten my life like that. Because if you hit me with this thing and I get hurt, then it's going to be an issue. So I'm not going to even give you that opportunity. I can't give you that opportunity. I'm, I can't. I, me, I can't do it. If I feel like my life is in danger in any situation, I'm going to have to go for it. Because it, it, you're not going to get me. Because anything could possibly happen. And there's this whole self-defense thing. You, If somebody hits you, hit them back. No, if I feel like my life is being threatened and you coming off like that or like you're going to hurt me in some capacity and you in my goddamn face, no, fuck that. I got to fight you. Like, we have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe because... I don't like that. The adrenaline is pumping. You can do anything to me. So I have to defend myself at this point because you clearly out of your fucking mind. No. Mm -mm. That couldn't have been me. And they was like, where is air airport security? They not here. So therefore, I'm airport security right now. And I'm finna take matters into my own hands. And I'm finna get this thing or whatever the fuck is closest to me. And I'm finna knock your ass out because he looked like a big dude. He clearly a big dude. He a big, strong dude. So it ain't like I could just punch this nigga. It's it's not that ain't that ain't that ain't plausible. So therefore, I'm going to get a weapon just like you did, and I'm gonna knock your ass out. You gotta be on the floor. You gotta be laid out. Like you doing too much. You doing too much. Somebody can get hurt. So therefore, you're the aggressor. I'm gonna hurt you before you can hurt anybody else. And they really have to deal with shit like this. These airline employees have to deal with shit like this all the fucking time. Especially over these goddamn masks. I don't understand it. I don't, I don't understand it. Like, just put it on. <laughs> like, just put... None of us like wearing it. None of us like wearing it. I, I hated it, especially in Jamaica, because it's hot. So... I can't breathe like that. I already got asthma, I smoke and shit. I can't even breathe and walk at the same time, let alone have my fucking mouth covered up and the shit falls up my glasses. Nobody likes the max. Max. Masks. <laughs> Nobody like that shit. You ain't the only one. But that don't mean you gotta act like this. Because it ain't like this just happened yesterday. It's been like this. Life has been like this for two years now. Why the fuck are we acting like this shit just happened? The fact that they're not even mandatory no more. We went from being locked in the house. I don't... Just put just put it on. Just just put it... He had to... It's something wrong with him. Like, like he couldn't... He, he's supposed to be on meds and he didn't take them. Or he should be and he haven't been diagnosed or given meds because that's how I look when I'm having a bipolar episode and I don't know what the fuck is going on. Except with me, I don't know what the fuck is going on. And it happens very rarely. And it's never that bad. I'm never going to do something to put somebody else's life in danger. I might fuck some shit up, but I'm not going to fuck nobody up. That man need help. He need big help. Like real big help. Like a lot of help. It ain't no way. It, it ain't no way. <laughs> like he tearing up shit. People just look and stand there. Because don't nobody know what to do. And I ain't going to lie. Had I been. How would I have reacted? Depending on what time it was. If it was early in the morning. I 
I probably would have recorded it because I did record some shit that happened in the airport. Um, but my damn quality of me recording was so fucked up. I was like, I, I ain't gonna do it because the camera was moving around me trying to be in, in, inconspicuous and shit. It didn't work. It was a fail. But I honestly probably would have just sat there like this nigga here. Is, is, you, is you serious? Like, <laughs> like, are you, I'd have been in the, My nigga, is you done? Like, unless you're close to me and my life is in danger, I'm, I probably would have just sat there. But had I been one of them, no, nah, pimp. I got to take you out. I got to take you out. It's happening. You you done for. I, I'm sick of it. I can't. You motherfuckers are something else, boy, I tell you. I had to come back with some more, y'all. I got a whole bunch of them saved. People been sending them to me, and I've been sitting on them and sleeping on them. I can't do that. Both of them came from the same Instagram, Crazy Karens, too. And so that that's one. We're we going to come back with some more. We're going to come back some more. Again, like I said, if you see me in the same outfit, that's because we're knocking these videos out while we can. Because um, I just came back from Jamaica, but uh, it's time to go back to work. So I got to get it done while I got time. You understand? Okay, cool. Now that we got that under control and understood, I will see y'all in the next video. So until next time, in the words of my good sis Natalie, bye.